To start out with, I make a flower. So I make a circle for the middle, and then for the petals, I make frowns connected with smiles. All the way around the circle, a frown connected with a smile. Then I make the stem of the flower by making a curvy line and make a second curvy line right next to the first one. And for the leaf, I make a frown connected with a smile. Now I'm ready to start coloring my flower. And as you can see, I'm using red and yellow and orange, but you don't have to use those colors. You choose to use whatever colors you think would be most interesting. And you can see I added some lines, some details to my flower, but the most important thing is I'm making it nice and neat. The next thing that I wanna do is make echo lines. So I'm using my pencil and just tracing around the outside shape of the flower. And after I do it one time, I do it over and over again until I get to the outside edges of the paper. Finally, I'm just going to color in my echo lines. And as you can see, I'm coloring in a pattern. I'm doing blue and then violet and then green and then repeating blue, violet, green. Now you can use a pattern, but you don't have to. It's totally up to you. I can't wait to see what you create. Some people like to do a little bit of a different flower. So this one's a rounded flower. I start with a circle in the middle and then I have little rounded petals. My stem's the same as before with a curvy line and a curvy line next to it and a rounded leaf. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring my flower. I'm still going to take my time. I'm still gonna outline. I'm gonna add details like textures to the petals but I wanna make it nice and neat. Finally, I'm gonna start making my echo lines. As you can see, I'm using a marker to trace around the outside shape of my flower. I didn't use a pencil, but you certainly can if you would like. But when I am finished, you will see I don't color anything. I just let the lines speak for themselves.